Have you put blood, sweat and tears into your business but you're still not making enough money to survive? And you may even be making a good amount of sales but there's still just not enough money left at the end of every month to pay yourself a good wage for the work that you're putting in. Well if this sounds familiar then you are absolutely in the right place because I am a chartered accountant and I am an expert at helping businesses to increase their profits in their business. So I'm going to tell you the five quickest ways that you can look at improving the profit in your business. So the first thing that I want to get out of the way right away is that you do not need to review your costs. I genuinely wholeheartedly believe that this is just a lazy way of accountants giving people tips to improve their profit. In my experience of working with businesses then most businesses do not have out of control costs and therefore sure you could save five pounds by switching stationary provider or getting a small discount on something but none of these activities are going to move the dial in your business and therefore it's just not not where your time and energy should be focused. So absolutely, if your business is in financial difficulty and you need to make drastic steps right away, then reviewing your cost base is an important part of that. But for most small businesses that are just not making the profit, but they have a good amount of sales coming into their business, then I am going to give you some tips on how to deal with that scenario instead. So if cost cutting isn't the answer, then what can you do instead? Well, the answer lies in eking every single penny and maximizing every single opportunity that you have in your business. So we're going to count down from five but before we get going if you're interested in content just like this that helps you to increase your profits, improve your cash flow and ultimately grow your business then hit the like button to get this out to other small businesses in the UK too and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also. So let's start with number five and that is to increase customer retention. Now this may seem like a really obvious one but there are so many small businesses businesses out there that don't think about how they can market to their existing customers and get them to come back to them time and time again and spend more money. Now when you have to go and find a customer from scratch that involves quite a lot of marketing costs. Actually most marketing costs go on acquiring new customers rather than marketing to existing customers. So therefore if you can get your existing customers to buy from you repeatedly you could reduce your overall marketing spend or put more marketing spend into acquiring new customers customers as you grow. But as well as the marketing costs of acquiring new customers, there's also operational efficiencies that you get from having repeat customers. It's the simple things that add up time and time again. So for example, every time you get a brand new customer, there's normally a customer onboarding process of some sort. It could be as simple as creating a customer account for them on your system or collecting some basic information. But all of these little touch points with every brand new customer adds time into the process and therefore there is a cost associated with it. So if you can get your existing customers to buy from you more frequently, you have the potential to reduce your marketing costs and also to slightly reduce your operational costs too. Now, a really simple way of doing this is to have a look at your existing customer base and identify the customers that do and don't spend from you repeatedly. And you can introduce things like email marketing campaigns, loyalty cards, even discounts for repeat spending customers too. These are all really good ways of incentivizing customers to be loyal and to buy from you multiple times. So number four is also around marketing and it is to know the return that every marketing campaign generates for you. Now I am shocked at how many times I speak to small business owners and they just simply do not know whether the money that they're spending on their marketing is generating a return or not. I have come across businesses that have literally put an advert in a local magazine that goes out to households for the past seven years and they have no idea how much business has been generated from that advert. So this means that as a business you're potentially flushing hundreds if not thousands of pounds down the drain on potentially wasted marketing activity. So what's really important is that you can track the return of every single pound that you spend on marketing. Now it's 2023 so there really is no excuse for not being able to do this. If you're putting out a leaflet put a QR code on it. If you're putting an online advert out there make sure that you have a trackable URL so that you can track and see how exactly how many times that is clicked on. It's things like this that are really, really easy to initiate in your business with just a little bit of time and thought into how you can track some of the performance of your marketing campaigns. And the goal here is not to cut costs when it comes to marketing, but it's to cut out the low performing marketing spend and to instead redeploy that spend on the marketing campaigns that are generating more leads in your business. So therefore you get more return 
for the more marketing spend. So my third tip to increase profits in your business is to scrap low performing products. So a few small businesses understand how much profit they are making from their individual products. And this always shocks me because as a business owner, how do you know what products you want to be focusing your time and energy into your hero products and the products that you sell the most of and make the most money from if you don't know what they are. So you've absolutely got to get into the numbers. You've got to understand what your highest moving products are, what your highest profitability products are, but also how easy it is for you to sell those products. So is it quite a smooth, easy, automated process or are there lots of touch points and it requires a lot of work from yourself? So if you make low profit or low margin when you sell a product, then you need the entire process to be frictionless and you need it to be high volume. If the process isn't frictionless, then you've got a lot of operational costs to deliver that product. And ultimately, as your business grows and the sales of those products grow, that becomes very inefficient and unprofitable. What you wanna make sure is that you're pushing those products in probably the middle area. So they are good profitability. They're fairly easy to deliver to your customers and you're selling a good volume of them too. Really identify your hero products that fit into that area and focus your attention on pushing those products most to your customers. Do not do a marketing campaign on low volume or low margin products. Doing any sort of initiative in your business to try and sell more low margin products just seems really counterintuitive. If you're going to put any time and energy into anything, make sure that you're putting your time and energy into the products that will deliver the most profit for your business. So my tip number two for increasing the profitability of your business is to increase the average order value. So this means how much money a customer spends with you on every transaction. So you don't need to look at the individual transactions, you just need to look at your total sales number, divide it by the number of transactions that you did in the same period, and that will give you your average order value. Now there is a minimum cost associated with doing every order. So for example, if a customer was to buy a pack of Biros at five pounds, or a really high value fountain pen at 250 pounds, then the actual delivery of that product to the customer in terms of your time and your processing and your energy and input is gonna be fairly similar. But the profitability that's delivered from both of those scenarios will be vastly different. So by increasing the average order value, you can get more return for every single minute that you put into your business in terms of your time and your effort. So some really simple ways that you can do this is to try and upsell additional products to your customers. So for example, we've all been on Amazon and we've seen that if you bought a handheld fan, they will try and sell you some batteries at the same time. So can you get your customer to buy a linked or associated product when they're at your checkout stage? And if you're a service-based business, then typically the most common way of doing this is by offering packages. So for example, bronze, silver, gold packages, and you try and get somebody to move up to a higher package and spend more money with you. So if you can increase your average order value, then you will ultimately be increasing your profits because your operational costs of actually delivering your product or service to your customer will stay the same. So here it is, my final tip for improving the profitability in your business. Now, if you've listened to all of those and thought none of those will work in my business or none of them will work in my industry, or perhaps you're even doing all of them already, then what's left for you is to really understand the financial statements in your business. And you need to get into the profit and loss and the data that's behind your profit and loss statement. So really understand your customer analysis, your product analysis, your sales analysis. So when you get this holistic overview of all of the numbers in your business and they will paint this picture for you, you'll be able to see trends and patterns, but more importantly, you'll be able to see when things are out of kilter and something doesn't seem quite right. So for example, if your sales has increased, but your gross margin is dropping, then you can have a deeper dive into this and try and understand why. Or perhaps your marketing costs have increased greatly, but the number of customers you're serving has actually dropped. This is another indication that something isn't quite right somewhere. So the answer always lies in the numbers, and that's why that's my final and best tip for any business that wants to improve their profitability is to get into the numbers. And that is exactly what financial management is all about. It's about being able to make smart decisions in your business on a day to day basis and improve your profitability, increase your cash flow and ultimately grow your business. So if you're interested in receiving more tips just like this, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. But also I have a free Facebook group that you can join where I do free tutorials.
tutorials, help sheets, cheat sheets, all of that type of thing too. So don't forget to check that out.